Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to put yourself into your computer screen, so just like that. And I know it looks pretty cool, so let's go. You need your laptop, you need a camera, and you need a tripod, and you need yourself. And that's it actually. First, go to a location, to some location you find very beautiful or very, very, very ugly. Set up your camera on a tripod, hit the record button and first just film the scenery. Then position your head in front of the camera and try to position it either on the right side or the left side of the picture. However, it should fill out a major part of the frame. Next, pretend like you are falling into the picture and then you can dance, smile or just go away. Now you should go back to your computer. Load the clip onto your system and start the video on the empty frame. Place the camera in front of your computer, zoom in a little bit, hit the record button and now go in front of your camera and you should keep in mind that your head should be on the same side as in the video you just recorded at the location you find so beautiful. Um, so yeah, go in front of your camera, do something funny, whatever, and pretend like you are pushing your head into the computer screen. Then move away, don't move the camera, don't move the computer, just hit the play button for the video and let the video play through the end. And after you've recorded that, we got everything we need for the edit. So now in our editing program we actually only have one clip and we actually just need to edit it to make it look cool. And yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna start the clip right from here. My head is moving down, I'm looking into the camera, then to the screen, and now I'm pushing my head into the screen, as you can see. Boom. And I'm gonna cut the clip right when my head is in front of the screen. Maybe even still a little bit in the movement, or at the end of the movement. Cool, and now... Let's go to the point, because we just hit the, after that, after our movement, we hit the play button and the video could just play on the computer and we recorded that. We now just cut right from here where we, in our fancy location, pretend to be falling into the picture. And now we already have this, which looks like crap, to be honest. It just looks not real. <laughs> Not at all. And now to make it look smooth as hell, we're gonna grab our first part of the whole clip. Right from here. When I start to move into the screen, somewhere over here, I'm gonna bring the marker on here. Go to this icon, blade speed, and we're gonna add a speed ramp. Just make the end of the clip faster. Now, now it doesn't look like we are slowing down right in front of the screen. That's already good. And the same thing we're gonna apply to the clip on the computer. All right, go over here, blade speed, and make the first part fast. Like this. Now we already got this. But now to make it look even more realistic, we're just gonna mark both clips, right click, create a new compound clip. While I'm moving my head into the screen and then I'm appearing in the screen, I want like a punch in movement. So I'm gonna set a cut right here, mark the second part of the clip, go to this icon, Ken Burns, and adjust the ending frame to the screen, just like that. Boom. And I want the movement to end over here, like the punch in movement, just like that. So now we have already this. And now to make the last frame like stand in this position, we're just gonna again go to this icon, swap starting and ending frame. And then I'm gonna adjust the ending frame to the starting frame. So we have a static picture. I explained this effect in one of my other videos. Just check it out. And now it looks like this. Already much, much better. Cool. And now again, mark all clips, right click them and create a new compound clip. And I still find this movement a little bit too slow. So I'm going to add here another speed ramp um, while I'm putting myself into the screen. 
so I'm just wanted to be like during this whole movement thing so same procedure as always add a slight speed ramp and now it looks like this much better in my opinion cool and now in the end to make this whole clip even a little bit more dynamic I would add the handheld filter and now I'm just gonna add a color grade on it and in the end we got this result Um, just let me know what other videos you would like to see. I'm definitely gonna react to that and definitely try to recreate them in Final Cut Pro X. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.